Hello everybody, Travis D here, and today we have a battle against Potato Jim. Uh, this is a really uh, good battle in my opinion. Uh, definitely very interesting, so I hope you guys will enjoy. But without further ado, we're going to continue our way into this battle soon, in here in a moment. Uh, this is our week four, I believe? Yes, this is week four. Of the Pokemon Invitational Cup, we're going against the Meef Mammoth Swines. We are both one and two, so we both haven't been very fortunate. Um, we're both season one competitors. In season one, Potato Jim was able to beat me. Uh, now our drafts are completely different, and I don't know. I, I'm I'm interested. So we got Mega Metagross. Uh, uh, leftovers set up Calm Mind uh, Suicune. This thing's actually modest, so it can just about kill everything on his team. Um, defensive Drudgeon with Stealth Rocks, uh, Choice Banded Sock, uh, Kecleon, uh, Assault Vest, uh, that's just for spin blocking to make sure my hazards stay up, uh, and also it allows me to take hits from multiple different things including the, uh, Thunderous, uh, the, um, the Jellicent, uh, the Magmortar, it just allows me to take a bunch of hits from all those mods. And then I got Weavile because his team's really weak to Weavile. Uh, I'm definitely, like his team just does not appreciate Weavile whatsoever. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get on into this battle. So first things first, he's actually gonna start lead with Thunderous. The reason why I start my Potato Dodge, I'm sure you're just gonna see all my team, my mods are named after Potatoes because we are going against the ultimate Potato Standard. Uh, but with that being said, I start off Suicune because I was expecting him to go Dawn Fan. Uh, it's just the primal lead. Uh, he could go that, or he could go into honestly anything else. The only thing I didn't really want to him to lead with would be his uh, Thunderous, <laughs> his Thunderous, and his Milk Tank. That's just does just annoy me. Um, but yeah, we're gonna continue going into the battle. He's actually going to. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. I'm gonna go out into Cuckley on here. He goes for the T-Wave, which I'm glad to put this on. I got the Potato Lover in here. We end this. He Volt switches out, which is pretty good. Uh, he's going to go out into your Mujesty, and I am going to turn into a Rock type, and I'm going to let the rocks just fly. So I'm going to go ahead and get Paralyzed right here, which is highly unfortunate, as he goes for the Seismic Test. I'm going to Drain Punch here just to see what kind of damage it does, and I see that he is a defensive, fully defensive mill tank. Uh, with Rocky Helmet, and that's just unfortunate because I know now Weavile can't do anything to this unless it's like previously crippled. So I'm going to switch out into the Potato Pillar, which is my Drudgeon. Set up my own rocks as he's actually just going to go for the Play Rough. Since I'm fully defensive, this is going to do nothing. I'm also Rocky Helmet, so I'm going to get a nice bit of chip. And I'm going to phase him out right here with a Dragon Tail, uh, and which brings him out into the Thunderous. I actually could have just Dragon Tailed again right here to continue the phase. But he's going to go out into Jellicent, which is completely fine. As I go for the Rock Slide, hoping that he'll stay in and try and kill me that way. Because I think Drudgeon would live a majority of what he had. And if he Nasty Plot, he would die. So I didn't know if he was Nasty Plot at this point or not. He goes for the recover here, and that's just, I'm not dealing with it right now. So I'm going to phase him out, and he's going to go out into the mist bucket. And I'm just like, well, crap, I don't have anything I can really do to this thing. So I'm going to actually, he's going to wish, I'm going to glare here because I think that's my best play. The reason why I chose to glare here was because I'm going to die to burn no matter what. Rock Slide isn't going to do that much, and if he wishes, the damage is basically going to get negated. Uh... And I believe I was Stealth Rock, Dra uh, yeah, I was Stealth Rock, Dragon Tail, Rock Slide, and uh, Glare. So it was one of those things where I made the best choice for me to just go ahead and try and cripple this thing a little bit more. Uh, just because this thing being crippled means that if he doesn't have a cleric on his team, which this mod more than likely is a cleric, it would be very annoying. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Let myself go down to the burn, which I'm completely fine with dying to burn here. As I'm actually going to go out into the potato cutter here. This is going to force a switch no matter which way you look at it. And he's going to go out into the Jellicent here. Now I go for the Meteor Mash. The reason why I chose Meteor Mash there is just because it was... It Oko's the floor just like three times over. 
If I go for the Meteor Mash here, I also have a chance for a attack boost. If I got the attack boost right here, honestly, I think it would have been just GG at that point, unless his Magmortar is Scarfed. If his Magmortar is Scarfed, I actually have a really tough time actually breaking through, because uh, that means I have to more than likely either sack something or let, you know, Suicune take a pretty big hit, which I really don't want to do, because Suicune literally destroys his team. And now that I've seen his defensive mill tank, I don't really feel all that comfortable with Weavile. I feel like Weavile doesn't do that much. I still don't know what this thing does. I'm assuming, because this team's really weak to Weavile, so he may have really predicted the Weavile, uh, and may have gone Cobra Berry. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one. It's just basically what I'm guessing at this point, because uh, that would make it so Weavile would be a lot less useful, and uh, it's just aggravating, because this team really counters Weavile, <laughs> it's so annoying. But the wish comes true, which is unfortunate, because I bet this thing is packing will o -Wisp. I'm going to go out on the Potato Lover, and he's going to get paralyzed right here, which is completely fine. I go out on the Calculeon, and I'm actually just going to go for the knockoff here, which is going to get rid of his Assault Vest, which I'm perfectly fine with. And now I'm going to make a big play. I Shadow Sneak here, so that way I block his Rapid Spin. Remember how I was saying this thing is a spin blocker? Well, that's what I meant. Um, I carried Shadow Sneak because I knew I'd be able to get chip damage off on Donphan and any kind of matchup like this where Donphan would want to spin. So I decided to pack Shadow Sneak because it's priority. It's more reliable priority than Sucker Punch, honestly. I didn't want to run Double Dark with him having uh, Florges, honestly. Just because Florges will destroy my, you know, my existence. And he does have a Jellicent as well. So I was just like, you know what? I can bring this and this helps me out with getting chip and it also makes it so I can spin block. Because having hazards is pretty important in this battle as you guys will see. So I'm gonna die to the Earthquake. I'm just gonna sack him off because I, I, at this point in time, since he's a salt vest, I'm actually expecting him to be a fully offensive uh, Donphan with like full, like adamant or something like that. Just because like, that just sounds terrifying to me. I actually thought about running a Donphan in season one, and I thought about running a salt vest uh, Donphan at one point, but that thing is a monster, a monster. So I'm actually gonna go for the meteor mash here. Unfortunately, it does have a 90% chance to miss, but I don't miss. So that's pretty cool. So I get a kill with Mega Metagross. So just basically fishing for that times uh, two. Now I really don't have anything I really want to get will o -Wisp, So I'm just going to go for the Zen Headbutt. And he misses right here. So this means that he has to switch out no matter what. And he goes out in the mill tank. Which I'm just like yes. This is great. This is exactly what I need. Because Zen Headbutt puts it in range for a break break to be able to kill. I don't care if I'm taking ship at this point because metagross has picked up two kills and he's also critically injured the jellicent now my win con is the suicune so i'm gonna go ahead and switch out into weavile just because i'm sacking it at this point in time because weavile legitimately does nothing against his team so i go out and took the potato dodge uh, i got my nice and powerful suicune out here and he's gonna have to switch out into forges which is completely fine. I actually go for the Shadow Ball here, predicting for him to go into Jellicent to take the Scald. And he it just goes into it. And I'm going to call my up on this thing, because you know what? I, I'm not afraid to take a stand. Uh, I could actually go for another Calm Mind here, honestly. Plus two would really hurt this thing, as I do get the special defense drop on the Shadow Ball that I switched in on, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I know he's wishing right here, so I Shadow Ball again, just to make sure he doesn't switch out into Jellicent. I just don't want him to go out into Jellison at that point, so I'm gonna go ahead because Will O Wisp recover taunt. It, I'm, I'm not. I just don't want to deal with it. So he goes out into Mr. Pringles here uh, to take the Shadow Ball because he's got two special defense drops at this moment, and his best play is actually going to Thunders here, which he does end up doing. But Stealth Rot does knock him down 25%. He gets the T Wave off, which I'm completely fine with. And at this range, that crit did not matter. I just want to go ahead and express this, guys. Uh, a Scald from a plus one uh, Suicune, I think, does like 70%, I believe. I think. Um, I can't remember what the roll was. But I went back and checked on it, and it's a Scald just demolishes that one mon. As you guys probably could see. I, I switched tabs there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but... 
I was just like, I wanted to, I wanted to see if I still had it up um, the other night when I was looking at some of the cows. So with that being said, uh, this thing goes down and I honestly just get to, I can call mine up or whatever comes in and just win. So he's going to go out into Mrs. Bucket and gets the Moonblast, it's going to drop my special attack and I can call mine again here. I can literally, I call mine way too much here. Uh, this is just like the player in me and once I got the win I just want to do my little setup. This is like doing a victory lap in Rocket League if you guys have ever seen uh, Carson's video. Uh, but at this point in time he has nothing that can deal with Suicune. Uh, I'm so happy I decided to bring uh, Suicune because he has so many things that just, he had. He had Sludge Wave uh, that he could have possibly had on Thunders. He never revealed it but I'm assuming he did. Uh, I know Don Fang gets Gunk Shot, I know Mag Mortar gets Clear Smog. Like, there's just too much that Clefairy, uh, Clefable does not like to deal with. I know uh, Jellicent can taunt and stuff like that. So, it's. I'm very happy with the fact that I brought Suicune this week. I think this is the best week for me to bring it. I get the Scald with the Burn. Uh, <laughs> doesn't really matter at this point. Because we can just just cleans up at this point like I got another crit right there of course I mean that one totally mattered uh but I mean look at Miss Bucket though like she ate that stall up like a champion when it's like plus five ah that's so insane but Hot Lips can't do anything to me he's literally throwing an orange berry at me when he t bolted me so GG well played uh so things that I think I could have done a little bit better. I actually don't think there was anything I could have done better there. Uh, I think I played the match really well. Uh, if he got the will o -Wisp on me, I think it would have mattered a whole lot more. Uh, because the Mega Metagross would have been crippled uh, pretty hard. But, I don't know. I think it was still winnable if I got will o -Wisp, which is why I stayed in. Uh, on said will o because I did have uh, Sock that I was able to go into and since he was defensive I'm assuming just from seeing the fact he had seismic toss I was assuming he didn't have any body slam or anything like that so as long as Jellicent was dead I feel like Sock would have just been able to kill Mil Tank no matter what and any switches that came in so I don't know I don't know it could have it could have changed how the battle went it's unfortunate for Jim because there were a lot of things that went in my favor in this battle but thankfully, I was able to play to my wink on. I was able to let Suicune do its thing, and I didn't set up at a bad time. I made my setup mon on his team before this, and because I knew that I would be able to set up. Like the worst thing that could happen is that thing had toxic. If it had toxic on it, this might have been a little bit more annoying. But even so, I don't. I never even saw toxic on his team, so I didn't know if he was carrying it, which. I mean, it can make sense because I do have uh, Cafable, and I literally have brought it every other week this, besides this one. And I've ran Magic Guard Cafable twice so far, so it definitely shows that his prep was really there. I prepped a lot for Mega Glade. I think I, the only Mon on this team that I didn't prep for was Milk Tank. I really wasn't expecting him to bring Milk Tank. I was actually expecting him to bring Mega Glade. But, without further ado guys, thank you guys for watching. If you're here to cheer on for the Carolina Cast Forms, be sure to smash that like button and show your support down below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to join YouTube's greatest travesty. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my friend Potato Jim. The dude's a pretty awesome battler and a great friend of mine. So be sure to check him out. He does a lot of work for the Pokemon Invitational Cup, so he's definitely one of the most dedicated coaches out there. So without further ado guys, this is your Carolina Cash Forms. We're now currently 2-2. Two two. Next week we'll be going against the Season 1 champions, the Denver Blitzels. Peace. I'm out.